the body. Yeah. You also got those in the body, amen, that maybe they don't, they're not strong in that area, but they're strong in other areas. Amen. Ministries of help, yes. generosity, yes. kindness, goodness, availability, yes. 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 all of those things. Yes. There are many ministries yes. Yes. that's associated with the church and guilt. Yes. It's time for us, church, to get our eyes off of one another. Lift up our eyes and see that the harvest is ripe to be gathered in. I want to tell you something. If, I'm a, if the Lord lays on my heart for us to go talk to a brother and sister and pray with them, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna question them. I mean, that's how long you've been. How long you read the Bible today? How long you pray today? Come on, brother. Let, let, we come. We're coming together. Amen. And we're gonna believe God. God is gonna work in this behalf. And I'm not coming against spending time with God alone. I got a message on that too. How powerful we can be if we spend some time alone with God. And I don't feel like I spend enough time alone with you. And I know some of you feel the same way. I want to tell you something. If you don't spend time alone with God, if you don't get in His presence, if you don't get with Him, I tell you, you're going to be anemic. We're talking about, you're talking about inconsistency. You're talking, boy, the devil, uh, uh, I tell you, hey, yeah. Oh, my God. You got to spend time with God. You got to get to that point that you're determined. You're determined to hold out until the end. You got to get to that point. Jesus said, uh, uh, "Brethren, could you just pray with me one hour? Could you just pray one hour?" Of course, he wasn't coming down hard on him. He just said, "Sleep on. Sleep on. You're gonna find out. You're gonna find out when the power of the Holy Ghost hit you on the day of Pentecost." They're going to find out that they're going to have to spend some time with God to be powerful. It's right. It's right. Oh, yes. 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 Oh,
been forgotten of God and Lord Jesus the Lord doesn't love us anymore and oh God we go on our own ways and we become so discouraged and depressed that we don't even pray and read the word anymore and we just, we just feel like Lord Jesus that we're a long ways from home and we feel like Lord we're distant from you but I pray that you would breathe breathe of your Holy Spirit upon us right now breathe upon us Lord as we talked about last week Lord those two gentlemen that was on the road to Emmaus they didn't even recognize that Jesus was to join them until you open up their eyes and I pray God Lord today open up our eyes help us Lord not to lose courage help us Lord God to stay in the race but help us Lord God to stay oh God on the straight and narrow not to waver in our faith not Lord God to become inconsistent but stable to the power of Almighty God Father, we'll thank you for it. We'll give you the praise. And we'll give you the honor. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah.